Don in London, hello. It's December the 5th. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My substance or behaviour, sorry, substance was alcohol. My behaviour equally addictive around people, places, things, trying to be perfect, collecting, never feeling good enough, always striving for something. I don't know if it was perfection, but I guess I just wanted to fit in. And drink provided me with a, a way into feeling okay about life until drink made me feel very, very ill and I couldn't stop and life wasn't working. So I found myself in a conundrum. I tried self-will to stop but it didn't work. Part of the human condition, I couldn't do it on my own and that was my moment of clarity. And then the fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, came into my life. Not by magic, but by a telephone call made by my sister who pushed me into a meeting. But it took a while to stick. So I know that the Fellowship of AA is a, a, a constant source of wisdom for me. Wisdom about, about how to live. Because real people go to a fellowship, talk openly, honestly and willingly about their recovery. And the reason why it's anonymous is simply we need a place of sanctuary to find our truth. That's how it works for me. And as truth and reality are my spiritual foundation for living, living the truth as best I can with what I know, or the truth I know so far, and spiritual being the ability to cope with reality, conscious contact with reality, in this one moment, the one we have, the real one, not yesterday and not tomorrow. So what is AA and how does it help me? Well, not forgetting AA is full of unique authentic people who speak about their recovery where they will. I cannot speak for them or AA, but I can share about AA help, how AA helps me. So what is AA? I'll share the AA preamble we hear at the beginning of every meeting that we attend. <coughs> Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with, e with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. Sorry, I was thinking about what I'm going to say next, which is not good. I need to be in the moment. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And what I try and do here is to share a bit of experience, strength and hope of what's going on. And I was reading again from this book, Drop, Drop the Rock, which is about two of the steps in the program, step six and seven, which is about how to find our emotional sobriety and cope with reality, how to deal with our character defects or liabilities when our emotions are at extremes and not fitting reality, and how we deal with our shortcomings, not doing enough of what is good for us maybe, around courage, faith and confidence. And I love it, it's a great book. And in front of me here is the 12 and 12, 12 Steps and 12 Traditions. This is the one I use here on the video, Daily Reflections, most often. What else have I got here? Yes, I've got the 24-hour uh, day book. That's another one. I'm just reading Jonathan Livingston Siegel again. And just over here, here is a big book. Alcoholics Anonymous, a bit dusty because I use a small one normally. But AA you can see on there as well. This is, the, this is the primary piece of information which helps us on a daily basis. It's got everything you need to know about how to be sober, except for one ingredient, human beings. Human beings wrote it, and human beings live it, live the program of AA, which is 12 steps, open, honest and willing behaviour, and the 12 traditions around unity, service and recovery in the fellowship. The twelfth step for me, December, is covered in this book, Daily Reflections and the Twelfth Tradition as well. And the twelfth step reads, 
Having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, I have a spiritual awakening every morning. It's called Hello Reality. We try to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. So we don't get better at life than anybody else. We just try and live life the best we can. It's not a competition. It's not about being right or wrong. It's about the quality of our experience. That's what the spiritual experience is. The quality of our emotional condition and our ability to understand reality. That's me. That's my opinion. It's not necessarily your truth. It's just as I see it, or as Bill used to see it in the olden days, the, one of the guys who was a co-founder. We, we have a tremendous debt of gratitude towards people who have gone before and are in meetings on a daily basis because we're building our wisdom always. We don't stand still. That's the whole point of AA. It helps us move along in reality with conscious contact with what's going on. So for December the 5th in the Daily Reflections it says this, a new state of consciousness. He has been granted a gift which amounts to a new state of consciousness and being, that is, living in the moment. For me. Many of us in AA puzzle over what is a spiritual awakening. I tended to look for a miracle, something dramatic and earth-shattering. But what usually happens is that a sense of well-being, a feeling of peace, transforms us into a new level of awareness. That's what happened to me. My insanity and inner turmoil disappeared, and I entered into a new dimension of hope, love and peace. We have you know, three words, hope, love and peace, if that comes to my life because I am open, honest and willing, and face the truth. Just improving gradually, daily, and more right I feel. I think the degree to which I continue to experience this new dimension is in direct proportion to the sincerity, depth and devotion which I practice, with which I practice the 12 steps of AA. <coughs> and the, you know, on the internet you'll find the 12 steps and 12 traditions writ large all over the place. And you know, what's important to me when we're, doing when we're talking about the 12th step, which is about the spiritual awakening what is spiritual has often been asked and religious people have said quite clearly it's the ability to cope with now the ability to cope with reality so a spiritual awakening where we stop filtering out the truth and we get down to the brass tacks of being open honest and willing and having some personal values about caring for other people hope and love tolerance and love because don't forget the worst prejudice we have is self-prejudice. If we have self-prejudice, it's the gateway to being able to pre be prejudiced against anything else. And that is so often the case. So, from being a, an unhappy man, trapped in the thrall of alcoholism, where I couldn't see beyond the next moment without a drink, how did I ever get there? Well, it wasn't of my volition. I didn't want to be an alcoholic. I just joined in what other people were doing. And is it not the case that often we follow blindly? These days, I don't do that. I try and work out what is best in terms of being open, honest and willing to experience life as it is. See how I can fit in rather than control. To be a part of inclusion all good, I hope, and only on a daily basis. So spiritual awakening for me is every morning knowing how I feel, why and what I can do, and having empathy for the re rest of humanity. So go away self-prejudice, so I can't be prejudiced against you or other people. And when things are going right or wrong, the serenity prayer keeps me in balance on a daily basis. So to God of good conscience as you come to understand, for yourself, your view is your view. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I can to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change to to start again. There's always a problem when I can't say it out straight away. There's something on my mind. It'll come to me. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference for me is just for today.